Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Henry with Henry Island Photography and today we're gonna to talk about wedding videography using the EOS R5. Now everyone talked about this camera when it first came out, when it was first got announced, it was, oh my God, this is gonna be the best camera ever made. The um, 8K is gonna be amazing. The high HQ frame rates are gonna be just superb and everything and then overheating hit. Everybody started saying, worst camera ever made. Canon could have really done better. And I'm not gonna lie, it scared me a lot. I bought the camera anyway. Was really, really nervous about it overheating doing weddings. Cause the last thing you wanna do is be at a wedding and it overheat on you. And then you can't get the shot that you really, really need. So Canon did a little bit of update with it. I'm not gonna lie. This video is gonna kinda basically give you a quick overview of a wedding that I did a few months ago um, up for a friend of mine named Tim and Lindsay. A great couple, they allowed me to come in, shoot their wedding, capture their special day, and then I asked them, could I put a video out to talk about frame rates and about the EOS R5? Just to kind of give you an overview of what it looks like. I was very nervous about this camera, shooting their wedding, thought that it would overheat. We started about mm, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I shot until about seven or eight o'clock at night, and I must say, I did not have one issue with overheating. I did another wedding in Birmingham, Alabama, shot from eight o'clock in the morning to six o'clock in the evening, and it overheated on me, but it only overheated at the very end of the wedding. And it overheated because I did not do what Canning said. When Canning came out with this new update, well, not the one right now, but the previous one, they said, what you need to do is in between shots, cut the camera off. Don't let's let the camera sit there they said, shoot the camera, and in between shots, cut the camera on and off. Well, I didn't do it at the end. Now, throughout the entire day, I did it, and at the very end, I let the camera sit there for about the last 45 minutes at the reception, and I just let it stay on and roll a lot. And I'm not gonna lie, it did overheat on me, but at the end of the day, I shot over 500 gigs worth of video on this camera, and it didn't overheat. Now, that's impressive. You can say what you want to say, but if you shoot an entire wedding, all the ceremony video, the entire reception, all the highlight real stuff that I needed to get, I got on this camera and it didn't overheat. That's a lot. Not only did it not overheat, it put out some of the most beautiful video I've ever shot. Um, I did get a shot in 8K. It will be on this video and I will put a little label up beneath it so you'll know when I shoot 8K. And for the most part, whenever a client or the bride and groom is not talking, I'm gonna shoot at 60 frames a second. If they're talking, I wanna shoot at 23 frames a second. So you will see the different frame rates in this video. And it'll kind of give you an insight of what this camera can do. I have to say, it's remarkable. People try to dog it out, and there's still a lot of people um, who still say that it's not a great camera. Well, for you, it might not be. But for those who are out there who want to use this camera and are thinking about using this camera for wedding videos and wedding production and photography, 45 megapixels, this is a beast. This camera is awesome. It works, it works, it works. Um, again, I was extremely nervous about it overheating and I shot an entire wedding, no problems. Now, I do have the R6. This wedding that you're gonna watch today, I did shoot a mix between this camera and the EOS R. And I will put that up there so you'll know which camera's which. Um, if you're good at grading, both videos will look really good. But I did get rid of the R to get the R6 because the R6 is so much better in low light. This camera is, is a beast. I shot this camera at a reception with a roto light on the top of it and I shot it at 25,600. Let me back that up. I shot this camera at 25,600 with a road light on top. The reason why I did that is because if I shot with a flash at reception, it washes out the room and it makes everything just look like a bunch of people dancing. But if you use like an LED light, you can get light like this in the background. You're able to get the ambiance and the feel of what's going on and you just use an LED light like above to fill in to slightly brighten up your subject 
and it worked out perfect. So just to kind of give you an idea of the equipment I use when I go out and shoot weddings, um, of course, I'm going to have the R5, the R6, both cameras. Use Rode mics on the top, the 15 to 35 2.8, the 24 to 70 2.8, the RF 35 1.8. These lenses are image stabilized. I do shoot with a 70 to 200 in the back of the ceremony. Also, I have the Canon 85. 1.2 just a gorgeous gorgeous lens it's a little heavy but it works out great um, it's really nice for those shots when you're trying to get the bride and groom getting ready i do use the whole fast money maker straps when i'm shooting and if that's too heavy for to be on one camera on one side one on the other i do use a solo strap when i'm shooting with this that way i can bring it up tuck my arms into it, and I can get um, really good stabilized video of the bride and groom. I do use a Ronin. When I'm using smaller ones like this 35, 1.8, works out great. Handheld footage to me looks a lot better a lot of times than using a stabilizer. It, photography and video production is opinionated. Everybody has their own opinions. Um, you might not like Canon. You might not like the footage just because it's Canon's. You might be a Sony lover. Sony puts out great cameras. The A7 III, the A7 R3, the A9, all those cameras are awesome cameras. I work at Camera Graphics in Auburn, Alabama, and I've had my opportunity to play with them quite a bit. I used to own the A7 R3. Uh, Panasonic has good cameras, but I like Canon. I love the color that comes out of Canon. This camera is probably the best camera I've ever shot with at a wedding. I absolutely love this camera. The colors out of it, the way it shoots, the way it feels, the way it handles. Everything about this camera is awesome and amazing. This is the best DSLR Canon has ever made. I don't care what no one else says. They can argue with me all day long. That's my opinion. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, right behind this camera would be the R6. and. Quick thing about R6, I just want to let everybody know. Um, I'm sure you do know, but maybe not. The flagship camera, the 1DX Mark III, uses the same exact sensor as the R6. Again, let me bring that back. A $2,400 camera has the same exact sensor as the 1DX Mark III, which is a $4,000 more camera. Now, I know there's some things that the R6 is not going to do that the 1DX Mark III does. Um, as far as quality, it's the same exact thing. No difference. The 1DX Mark III probably does track a little bit faster. This camera tracks very well. The eye focuses on both of these cameras. <laughs> it's impeccable. Canon nailed it. Watch the video. Tell me what you think. I hope you like it. Anyway, here we go. Standing here today in front of all of my family and friends, I feel like the luckiest man in the world. Lindsay, I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with you. I vow to love and care for you as long as we both shall live. I love your ambition, your humbleness, your gentle heart, your beauty, and the way you look at me. I love you for always talking me through all of my best decisions, and I love you for making me the best version of myself if I always believing in me. I promise to stay off my phone during quality time and give you undivided attention to always fill our home with love and laughter and to try my best to not fall asleep with the TV on. <laughs> I promise to love you as much as I love basketball and to not hold your obsession with checking your athletic work email on your off days against you. I promise to be supportive on your bad days and to celebrate the good ones. I promise to build a life together that's far better than either one of us could have imagined. I promise to respect you and cherish you and to change my Facebook status to marriage before the end of the reception. <laughs> Lindsay, I vow to choose you every day over and over. 
in good times and bad. Today, I take you to be my lawfully wedded wife, my constant friend, my partner in crime, and my love from this day forward. I love you. I love you. Today I choose you to be my husband. I love you unconditionally and without hesitation. With my mind clear and my commitment strong, I promise to love you without reservation, comfort you in times of sorrow, laugh with you, grow with you, and always listen with an open heart. I promise to be faithful, honest, and supportive as God watches over us. I vow to work with you to nurture and cherish a relationship of equality knowing together we will build a life better than either of us could have imagined. <laughs> I promise to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are, as well as for the man you wish to become. I promise to be for you, to encourage your dreams, to help you become the man God created you to be. I pledge to you that my love and loyalty will weather the storms of life. As we join our lives as husband and wife, we also become a family. Just as I vow to love and support you for the rest of my days, I also vow to support your children in achieving their dreams, to give them guidance when needed, and to freely give them my unconditional love. Together we will build a foundation for our family. I give myself to you completely, and I promise to love you always with my whole heart for my whole life. Mm. Say that. <laughs> Montressa, you may kiss your bride. I've got a lot of lessons left to learn, but I'm not even close. But through my inhibition, I've become quite sure that I love you the most. That this could be the easiest thing if I'd let it But I'm too afraid of losing it all Cause if I leave everything on the table Then you might break my heart But I know a love like this doesn't come around every day and I just can't bring myself to give up right now Not this way Cause I love you and I wanna hold you when we're old and gray Oh, but love like this don't come around, don't come around Every day Every day I've never been quite sure Put my hesitations on the show Cause this is what I choose This will be the easiest thing if I let it And I can't be too afraid to fall So I'm even there
just can't bring myself to give up oh, no. Not this way All right, everybody, well, there you have it, man. A quick overview of the EOS R5, um, the different video rates, the different frame rates that you can use, 120, 60 frames a second, 23, 9, 8. You know, just a quick look at what you can look for if you're doing video production with this camera. Um, again, you might not like the way it looks. You might love the way it looks. Let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what you think. Again, everybody, if you like videos that I put out and you like the content that I'm pushing, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button down below and hit that little bell icon over in the corner so you can be notified when I put out new content. And again, serious note, stay safe out there. Be blessed. Love everybody. Let your passion roll through. Keep on shooting. Be blessed. Happy holidays. See you soon.